Okay, for this exercise, what we're going to try and do is to um, uh, is to build this icon, this um, image here, which is a, an angle bracket. Okay, but we're going to use some information that I'm going to give you. So, in the um, your your um, uh, class Google Classroom, you'll have seen a drawing that looks like this, which provides you with enough information for you to be able to to construct this um, angle bracket. Okay, so we have measurements on here, such as the length of different parts here, so the side view, and the angle here, 60 degrees, and the thickness of the whole panel, which is 20 degree, 20 millimeters. We then know about this, the um, radius um, and diameter of these circles here, and the width of the whole bracket as well. It's all there, all the information is there for you. Okay, so. Let's have a look at this. We know that we have this sort of rough drawing here that's going to be 95 by 150 by 60. Okay, that gives us an outline there. So I'm going to go into um, my, my a new, a new uh, drawing here. It's called Angle Bracket, which I've just created. I'm going to draw this on the front work plane, so on there. Okay, and I'm going to do a new sketch on that front work plane and make sure I'm looking directly at that. I'm going to start by taking my line drawing tool and I'm just going to draw a horizontal line like so, which is going to be the base of my thing, which I want to be around 150. So I'm going to say this is going to be 150 millimeters because it tells me that on my diagram. And remember, you can change these afterwards, so don't worry if you haven't got them um, right the first time. We then want um, an upright, which comes up here, okay, there, which I can't remember the measurement of that, but we can change that afterwards. Okay, that's fine. And then I want another piece which is going to come up from this way here, there, which I think is 90, but we can change that as well. So 90 millimeters there. Okay, right. Let's escape that. Let's just go back to our drawing and just check it and see. So we can see this is 60 millimeters here. So you'll, you'll have to just refer back to your drawing. So let's dimension this line here, which we said was 60. So there. Okay, 60, there, okay, brilliant. Now I can draw the rest of this in, so I know that there is a thickness that goes this way, which is um, 20 millimeters, going that way. And then it comes this way, there, and then it goes across, and then it comes up, and then it meets that one there, brilliant. Okay, so I've got, got my shape there. But I need to just make sure that these are all the right, um, shapes etc. So I'm going to just use my dimension tool. I know that the distance from here to here needs to be 20 there and we know the distance from here to here that has to be 20. Okay um, I know the distance from there to there also needs to be 20. Okay now Looking at this part here, that doesn't look quite a right angle there, so I'm just going to tidy that up. So I'm going to go to my um, tools here, drop down, pick uh, perpendicular, click on that line and this line, and that should correct itself. So that is now a right angle for me there. Okay, um, and I think this one here and this one here should also be a right angle as well, which it is. So we're okay there. Okay, so I've got my my shape drawn out there. Okay. Now I know that needs to be, according to the plan here, that needs to be extruded to a thickness of 80. So the whole thing is 80 wide, 80 wide there. So let's go back to our drawing and let's extrude this to a distance of 80. Now I'm going to um, do this as um, it's going to actually go around the surface. So I'm going to go click on here and I'm going to go to symmetric, symmetric. I'm going to make this um, uh, 80 degrees, or 80, sorry, 80 millimeters. Okay, there, extrude. So then now I should get a shape like that, which, if you look, is split either side of my front work plane, like so. Okay, so it's, so it's gone 40 millimeters either side of it. Okay, now let's go back to the drawing and have a look. So according to the drawing, now we've drawn this section here. Okay. But what we've got, we've got these funny sort of circular bits that come out here. So we need to just see if we can we can create those. So I'm going to go back to my drawing. 
and I'm going to click on this surface here. Okay, and I'm going to right click on it and say I'm going to put a new sketch on that surface. And I'm also going to right click then and um, say view normal to, to workplace. So I'm looking directly at that surface there. Okay, now I'm going to take my line drawing tool and my construction line tool, so I've got them both selected there. And I know that this um, will have a circle that's going to be here and it's going to have a diameter of 50 and a, or a radius of 25 here. Okay. So to help with that, I'm going to um, create a construction line. So I'm going to start from the top corner here, and just drag down and draw a line there. I'm going to make sure this is 25 millimeters. Okay, 25 there. Escape. <coughs> Okay, so then now I can take my circle drawing tool here, move to this new point that's created that I know is 25 millimeters from the end. I can drag that out and as when it gets to there, so I want this to be 50, so there, and type in 50. That should be exactly in the right place for us. And we'll do the same on the other side. So now this is a little trick you can do. If you take your circle drawing tool and you hover over that point and then drag across. You see how you get this? So I haven't actually clicked yet, I'm just hovering over it. It knows that that's where, it's, where it needs to be on that point there. And you could draw your draw your circle at that point, but I'm not convinced that's actually going to be on the line. So I won't use that. I'm going to um, help myself by drawing another construction line. So I'm going to go from this point down to here. And again, set that to, this to be 25. So I've placed another point there for me. Okay, and then I can take my circle drawing tool, click on that, drag out, make sure I've got that 250 diameter. Bingo, so I've got that two, two parts there. And I can um, take my, if I deselect my circle, I can take these handles here, and I can move them around so that they're not in the way of, edit, of my drawing there. Okay, right, so I've now got two, two circles there. So um, I'm now gonna extrude those so they um, will, will zoom, will create the, create, the, create the shape map, but you can see by default it goes forward. I need it to go the other direction, so I'm gonna click on that way around. And I need that to be a depth of 20, because that's the thickness of my material. And there we have a depth of 20 there. Brilliant, so I've got my new shape there. Okay, so let's click on that shape again, and right click and go to New Sketch on that surface. Okay, and right click again and then view norm to work plane. So now I'm looking straight at that again. Okay, now I'm going to take a, um, another circle drawing tool and move into the center here. Now, um, as I move over, can you see how that has picked up where the center of the circle below is? So I can drag this out. And I know this has to have a diameter of 25. 25 there okay same thing move over to this side here I can see where that is pick up that drag that out click 25 there we have two new circles there I'm going to extrude these but this time instead of extruding I'm going to remove and of course it goes in the opposite direction oh hang on no it was already going in the opposite direction and the, the distance I'm going to set this to be up to next so that should have created two nice holes for me. There we have two nice holes. Brilliant. Okay. Now, um, let's have a look at this surface here. So according to my drawing, I've got two circles at the end here. They're 40 millimeters from the bottom and 20 millimeters in. 20 millimeters in. And they have a diameter of 15 millimeters. Okay. So let's see how we go with that. So. Um, click on this surface, right click, put a new sketch. Yeah. Make sure I'm looking straight at that. So view to normal work plane there. Take my line drawing tool and my construction line tool. I'm going to click and drag up until I get to roughly 40. 40 there. Okay. Now I know that's 40 above there. Escape, take that off. Take my line drawing tool again. And I can draw a construction line going across this time. I'm going to try this way. Okay, there. And there's a construction line. So I know that's where, where, my, where my part's going to be. Okay. Now, 
take my, I need actually, I need one going 20 from that. So let's do that 20 there. Yeah, and set that to 20. There we have it there and escape out of that. There we have it. Okay, so that should be, was that a construction line? I'm not sure. We'll just undo that and redo that again. I'm not convinced that was a construction line. Let's do that. Click there and there. At 20. Yeah, that's better. That's a construction line now. Okay, right. Pull that down. Okay, so now I can take my circle drawing tool, move that. Now, this is a little trick. If you, if you click on that one and then hover over that one, it gives you, there we have, that circle. So this is going to be a radius of 15 there. Okay. And then I want one on the other side here. So that's going to be 20 in. So let's take my line drawing tool and my construction line tool, do the same thing. There, click, okay, 20, there, and escape. Then take my circle drawing tool. So this is gonna be up from this to there, 15, bingo. So we've got two circles of 15 there. And I'm now going to extrude those again. So extrude, okay just those two circles, and we want to remove again, and we want this to be a depth. Um, oh, actually, we can just change on here to up to next. Um, bingo, we should have two circles that have made nice holes in our shape there. Brilliant, okay, now, right now, I'm gonna try and do a, um, a rib on this. So if you look at the drawing, there is a rib that comes through here, okay? And that's coming through the center, and that has a width of 10 millimeters. So let's see. We're going to, it's going to start from here and it's going to finish here. So it's going to be drawn on the front work plane. So I'm going to click on the front work plane, right click, put a new sketch. Okay. I'm going to make sure I'm looking straight at my front work plane. I'm going to start with my line. I'm going to start from the top here. Now it's not seeing that. So I'm going to ask it to use. The use command. So let's move this over here. So we're going to use a point there, and I'm going to put another point here. Okay. Then I'm going to take my line drawing tool and click and draw a line going across. Bingo. There we have a line going across there. Okay. Now then green tick that. Take my rib tool. Click on that line. Okay. Now it asks me here what the thickness of it is. It's going to be 10, okay? Green tick that. And I should now have a rib coming through my object, like so. Okay, now the last thing I think I need to do is to create these rounded bits on the end of these, this, this part here, okay? So those, I'm going to use my fillet tool for that. And it's telling me that that has a radius of 20. 20 millimeters, so that's easy to do. So we'll click on, on here, we'll click on our fillet tool, we'll click on the edge here, okay? And that's saying five there by default, we'll change that to 20, okay? And then I'm gonna click on the other opposite line there as well, and I should have rounded them both off at 20. Click on the green tick there, and there we have our completed shape that should look like the drawing there for us and it does very good okay